Construction started on the new parallel runway in August 2012. Now that the site is prepared, we can start the dredge and reclamation phase. The total area of land that we're reclaiming is 360 hectares. It's about a three and a half kilometre length by about one kilometre wide. In order to stabilise the ground on which the runway will be built, we need to bring onshore 13 million cubic metres of sand. There's two main reasons we need the sand on the site. One is to consolidate the underlying soft waterlogged soils. The other is actually to raise the land level to an area that is immune from future tidal and flooding inundation. BAC did a very extensive studies of Moreton Bay to find the best dredge site for this new parallel runway project. The area at Middle Banks has been dredged three times previously, originally by the federal government in the early 1980s when they were building Brisbane Airport, again in the early 90s for our new international terminal, and Brisbane Airport Corporation dredged there in 2008 for terminal expansions. The site itself is adjacent to the main shipping channel into the port and is well away from all the high environmental values of Moreton Bay. So in terms of a location for dredging, it's the best in the bay, it provides very clean sand and won't have an environmental impact on the bay. The sand that's contained in our dredge footprint, it's a very, very clean sand product, often referred to as the Rolls Royce of dredge material. It's a consistent, fine grained sand, but most importantly, it has very, very few fines content. And it's actually that fine material that typically causes dredge plumes to occur. So we are very, very fortunate with the material that we're dredging. BAC has engaged Yundanul, one of the world's most impressive dredging contractors and they're bringing their newest dredge called the Charles Darwin here to Brisbane waters to do that work for us. The dredge will sail out to the approved footprint, lower its drag heads, vacuum up the sand into its hopper. Each time it can load approximately 30,000 cubic metres of sand, it then sails back to pump out from the Brisbane River. Our dredge vessel will have to pull into the Port of Brisbane, which is the only place that the dredge vessel is able to moor. From there it's a distance of approximately four kilometres overland where we'll need to pump the dredge sand before it enters our reclamation site. Making it one of the largest dredge pump outs in the world. It's taken us approximately six months to build the pipeline. We need to cross some fairly critical infrastructure, including our cross runway. The pipeline has been completed. Uh, we undertook a commissioning process whereby we pump Brisbane River water into the dredge pipeline. We pump it up to a fairly high pressure to make sure there's no leaks and make sure we have no problems once we commence dredging. Once the sand has been placed, that whole reclamation area will be monitored and scrutinised on a regular basis to ensure that the reclamation is performing in accordance with our predicted outcomes.